My name is Ryan Peterson and I'm the owner of Affordable Trench List and Pipelining in Sacramento, California. And today what we're going to do is we're going to do a pipe burst through the existing sewer line from a house that is located on the other side of this property. So in downtown Sacramento, when it was built, the sewer lines, water lines, and storm drains all ran to the alley. And in order to get them to the alley, they had to lay the pipe through existing backyards, where in this case, the traditional digging method wouldn't work. So basically, what we're gonna do is access a hole in the alley where a clean out would be located, and then two yards over, make an entry hole where the pipe will be pulled through. We're gonna feed a fiberglass rotter up the existing line connected to a cable which would then be pulled back, connected to the polyethylene pipe that has been fused together with a bursting head on the front of it, and hydraulically pulled through the existing sewer line. A lot of people call this the trenchless replacement. Actually it's pipe bursting is what you're doing. So you're bursting out the existing line and leaving the material in the ground, and you're pulling a fused four inch pipe the same diameter as, we'll say, ABS, through the existing line. So we're not downsizing, upsizing, we're just replacing is what we're doing. So to complete a job like this, um, after the two holes are dug in preparation to pull the line, a cable is fed through the existing sewer line where on the entry hole, the cable is connected to a bursting head that has a swedge on it and it's pulled through the existing pipe. So like we said before, this would be the original size of a four inch clay ABS orange bird pipe. So pulling through the existing line, this head bursts through the existing pipe and behind this head, a standard four inch pipe lays, which allows a little space in between the pipe and the bursting head to pull through. That's where the pipe burst name comes into effect. So okay. people think that you're downsizing when you're doing this, okay. you're not. This this head is six inches in diameter okay. and the original pipe's only four inches in right. diameter. Right. So you're breaking the old pipe out and you're pulling a new pipe the same diameter okay. through it. On the other side in the hole is a hydraulic system that pulls the cable through the line. Um, trick makes uh, the system that we use. So this is put into a three by three hole, laid up against the flat wall towards the house. A cable comes out of the hole, around the pulley here, through the hydraulic ram, and the teeth work against each other so that the cable could be pulled up, locked into place, the ram drops down, re-grabs the cable, pulls it back up. Approximately 20 minutes, we could pull a 100 foot sewer line, um, four inch or six inch with the equipment that we use. So this pulls approximately 60 feet long. I should be able to have it completed in about 20, 25 minutes. Typically a job like this takes us about a day. We meet with the inspector. He has us run water down the line with the camera to ensure that there's no bellies or separation in the pipe. That's how it's inspected. The two holes are filled up, customer's happy, and we're off to the next job.